To the ongoing gun control debate today, it heated up on the island at a pro-gun rally in Suffolk County. And News 12 Long Island's Sean Bergen was there and joins us with more. Sean? Drew, just days after Governor Cuomo signed what are thought to be the most restrictive gun laws in the country, there is a backlash brewing. Gun rights advocates took to the streets in protest across the country and also right here on Long Island. Waving flags and carrying signs to support their right to own firearms, hundreds of protesters gathered in Huntington to express their dissatisfaction with strict new gun laws. The average gun owner has been demonized, demonized by the press, demonized by the liberal establishment, demonized by our own governor here in New York State. On Tuesday, Governor Cuomo signed into law tough new restrictions on assault-style weapons and ammunition magazines. Some key provisions would make unsafe storage of assault weapons a misdemeanor, it would require mental health professionals to contact authorities if a patient threatens to use a gun in a crime, and it will also restrict ammunition magazines to seven bullets down from ten. Art Descala says reducing ammo capacity to seven rounds only ensures law-abiding citizens will be outgunned by criminals. So now we're up against uh, intrus intruders in our house where we have seven round max, they can have 30 rounds, you know, without even thinking it. A short distance away, we ran into Liz Schubler, who supports the new gun laws. I don't want any more shootings like in Newtown, so I have five kids. I'd rather uh, make sure they're safe. On Wednesday, President Obama signed an executive order to reinstate a ban on the kind of assault weapon used in the Newtown massacre. But how much safer will broadening the ban on assault rifles make us? According to last year's FBI crime statistics, there were 323 murders committed with rifles, 728 using fists and feet, nearly 1,700 using knives, and 6,220 people were killed using handguns. Greg Lagakis says the legislative push won't end with assault weapons. So uh, rifles are way down on the list of people killing. They're just afraid to talk about banning handguns, but they're going to work their way up to it eventually. All they need is one more catastrophe, and it'll happen. Now, we did see a number of protesters wearing tags saying they would not comply with the new gun laws. They claim they're not bound by laws they say are unconstitutional. Jackie?